Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Allah. Koholo Yamla Yahawabashim Yahawashai Bahashim Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say Tawada to all the Akiyam and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahawabashim Yahawashai to the best of their ability. Shah Nawaf is coming at you with another quick lesson praying that is edifying by the Spirit. And um, I'm a lamb. I want to lamb back off the brother GMS austere man. That's his channel. Um, subscribe and um, check the brother's um content out. Definitely be on point. You know, as far as this truth, baby. So, and <laughs> this right here just it, it, you know it's a clear indicator of who Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is, right? So now you see this guy right here. Now I'm not saying that he's a Edomite, but he could be, an um, you know, he could be an Israelite. Cause it's not a skin color thing but you know this is the, the you know i just wanted to bring this out because this is the actual look of what these edomites look like though because see he, his shirt is white and they claim that they're white but actually he's pinkish to reddish in color and the scriptures talks about how esau came out red see and that's that's a, a, a you know something that they try and get away from and because they fool the world and they're, you know, thinking that they're they're white and they're actually not. They, 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 don't, they don't look like a glass of milk, man. But anyway, just to just show you that these people are the wicked because the brother, he entitled this only in the mind of an Edomite. And he's correct. I, I can't even see so-called Chinese people thinking like this or Japanese or any of these other races of people, you know, Elam. The, you know, I, I can't see any of them. Salakia doing shit like this. And this is why we always bring out Job 9 and 24. But check it out. I'm going to play this. Educa educational purposes only, you know. Just land backing off the brother's video. It's obviously on the news because he's a newscaster. And he's going to give you the rundown. Now, it's entitled, That Sings in Fruits and Vegetables. Now, I remember when, um, you know, just about the end of, you know, when everybody kind of stopped. You know, they was kind of, you know, they, you know, people stopped taking the, um, you know, the, the boosters and all this other shit. And they was talking about doing this. They was talking about putting the, the you know, the vaccine and like um, lettuce and, you know, t tomatoes and shit. And I'm thinking like, well, damn, you know, <laughs> I mean, hey, but this man, they, they, they could pull something like this off. Why? Because this is his kingdom and they're in power. They're the ones that's writing all the rules for your medication, your FDA, your, you know, your USDA, your damn FBI, your, all these, 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 these damn letters they got. They're in control of these things, man. Now, check it out. This is a real thing, because if you really just if you just saw this title, you'd be like, oh, man, that's some bullshit, man. That's some comedy. That's a comedy skit. No, Esau is out here. Really? This guy, man, is 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 really wicked as hell, man. Anyway, let's play it. A lot of us have never thought about vaccines in the fruits and vegetables you get at the store. Some lawmakers say it could be a reality soon, and they're looking to create some new rules to keep Tennessee and safe. Tony Sloan's live in the state capitol to tell us more about this legislation. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ben. Well, we want to make it clear that there are no vaccines in your lettuce or tomatoes when you go grocery shopping right now. But lawmakers say it may be a question of when, if not if. Now, Representative Scott Piggy says researchers in California have perfected putting vaccines into certain foods. So he's crafted a bill to make sure that you know whether you're picking up a tomato with a vaccine in it or not, as an example. Now, basically, he says that this is a consumer protection bill that will make sure you know what you're buying. He says before this comes to Tennessee, there needs to be safety measures in place to protect you when you shop for yourself and your family. If you're going in to buy tomatoes and there's a polio vaccine in there that you are aware of what you're buying as a polio vaccine, the problem you have is if it's not treated as a pharmaceutical, being the size and difference between you and me, how many tomatoes do I have to eat to get the proper dosage versus how many tomatoes do you have to eat? And if you eat too many, do you get a, a overdose? So it's raising a lot of questions. Representative John Ray Clemens questioned whether... Okay, so... This guy, he's not even just saying flat out, look, this is wrong. <laughs> he basically just coming up, well, well, you know what? Okay, if they do do it, you know, let's just get the dosages right for everybody. Do I eat half of the tomato if I'm weighing 125 to 145? Or do I eat the whole tomato 
do I need to eat two tomatoes? Do I need to eat three tomatoes? Depends on my. So he's not, you know, saying, hey, this fucked up, man. Y'all, what y'all doing? <laughs> but see, hey, you got all these so called white people, they marching. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women, they marching. All these rights for abortions, all these rights for the LGBTQ, all these rights for shit that don't even matter. But when it comes to stuff like this, where's the outrage? Why aren't these people marching about some shit like this here, man? You can't make it up. This is real. So that lets you know Esau. Now, mind you, don't the scriptures talk about how the Lord, he gave, you know, um, um, the medicines out of the earth, roughly paraphrasing. You're not supposed these fruits and vegetables, they're supposed to be so healthy and good for you that you don't even need any of these fucking um um things that they're trying to um have you come roll your sleeve up to get. If they weren't fucking with the fruits and vegetables, you genetically modifying every damn thing. Every fucking piece of fruit and, and, and vegetables that you grab nowadays don't have no seeds in it. It's, it's it's only like maybe a few things that they haven't tampered with as of yet. But this shit is retarded and no body is outright where's the march is at these people should be up in arms y'all should be all at every y'all should be in front shit fuck january 6th going and and, and fucking up the capital for some for, for 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 the silly shit you 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 should be marching over this type of stuff it's enough that the food is already gmo'd out it's already fucking people up all this processed food then this man, he wants to go and put some shit into the, 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 the you know, uh, he wants you so badly to have that goddamn juice. Why? You thinking that you can go and, oh, oh yeah, you know, I, I, hey, look, I buy lettuce and tomatoes pretty much maybe twice a week at least. Because I like to eat salads, you know what I'm saying? I like to cut my own salads up, you know what I'm saying? Grab my olives, you know. I might boil, you know, an egg or two, you know, whatever, however you want your salad. Might dice some chicken up in it or something like that. Here you go. I eat that. I eat that stuff every other day. If not every day. I just, matter of fact, grabbed some tomatoes uh, uh, yesterday. Lettuce and tomatoes, cucumbers. I try and keep little stuff like that in the fridge to make salads with. Now, here you go. This motherfucker, he's trying to put some shit in it to, to, to. <laughs> Cause he cares so much about me that he's gonna put. Uh, you don't want to come. You don't have to come through to the doctors to. Um, you, you know, some people are scared of needles. You can just eat it. The fuck out of here, man. These people are wicked as hell, man. Well, let me grab that scripture real quick. And this is why we be telling y'all, man. This is why the scripture talks about never trusting thine enemy, man. As a matter of fact, I need to get that in there. The apocrypha. Let me get the apocrypha real quick. You're not supposed to trust it. This is the, one of the main reasons. You can clearly see this man can't be trusted. And this is why the Lord is coming, man, to get this fucker out of power, man. Because if he continues to reign, nothing will survive, bro. This man trying to put a computer chip in you? <laughs> it ain't, man. Boy. Ma, 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 ma. It is what it is, man. Hey, this is how you know we're in the end, um, the end times, man. This is the end of this age, man. Esau cannot go on any further. This man and turned the fucking children, uh, uh, you know, into opposite sexes of what they're really born as. He is people not living out the full potential of their life because of this man. Suicides on the rise, <laughs> uh, uh, overdoses on the rise, gun violence. Oh my! And this is all under this man's rule, man. But anyway, let's get the apocryphal. Let me go into this Job real quick, though. Let me get that one first. Job nine and twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If this man is not the wicked, then who is? Because he's running the earth. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He's the one with the most dominant power on the planet. You got the Ch uh, Chinese trying to hang in there. You got um Elam, um, you know, the, the the you know the East Indians and shit trying to hang in there. You know, but generally, overall, the so-called white man, he's running the globe. 
This motherfucker all in space. He's all in the oceans. The damn animal, all the animals are sick. The trees are dying. You don't see no butterflies no more, no bumblebees. <laughs> this motherfucker done, de done destroyed this place, man. He done destroyed this earth, man. And it says that um, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he. Now, the main judge face that he covered was who? The father in heaven that created the very fruits and vegetables that this fucker is modifying. As if the Lord wasn't good enough at his job. Like, like the Lord, nah, the Lord didn't make it good enough. We're going to do our thing to it because we're so much better than him. This is how these Edomites think, man. They have that God-like complex. And that's going off into that 2 Thessalonians um, 2 and 4. You see? Now, he covered the main face, the main judge's face, which is Yahweh, which the world, you know, they call him Jehovah and all these different things or whatever. But we know his name to be Yahweh, which means that he exists with the existing one, right? Then the secondary main judge face that he covered was the Lord, his son. Our Savior, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. They gave him that name, Jesus. They don't call him by his, his real name, Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or um, deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Because there's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E, no letter O, no letter U or V. The letter J was just invented in 1524, 500 years ago. There was no English when the Lord walked the earth. They was not calling the Lord no, no damn Jesus, man. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of, they call it Judah. But it's really Yahweh, though, because there's no letter J in Hebrew. His parents named him Yahweh Shai by what the angel told them to name him. So he covered the two main judges' faces. So we already know. You know who this man is. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It's been nothing but destruction since this man has come into power. Since he came out of those goddamn caves and, 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 and he's been in power tearing this place up, man. Everything is upside down. That's why the scripture says, woe to them that, um, matter of fact, let me go into the blue letter too real quick. Bear with me here, man. He turns every damn thing upside down. Oh yeah, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's this man. He telling people that they came from monkeys and shit. Now he telling people that man and man can be together. Woman and woman can be together. But yet and still, they'll have you come to the fucking uh, uh, courthouse. Put your hand on the Bible. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. And you don't believe in the scriptures yourself. You stole America with the Bible. With white Jesus. And the scriptures talks about what do you have to do to declare my statutes, man? Let's get that real quick. You so-called white people, man, you, you, what you doing with the Bible, man? It don't have nothing to do with you other than you going into slavery. This Bible wasn't given to you. The, the scriptures wasn't given to you. It was given to the Israelites. It wasn't given to you, Edomites. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, then we just say, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we know who we're talking about. We're talking about the so-called white race. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee? What you doing with the scriptures? What you doing with the Bible? You're not keeping nothing in there. When you go into the book of Genesis and, and you see the creation, everything was good. Right. He gave the seed bearing herbs. He, he gave the, you know, seed bearing fruits and vegetables. Everything was perfect. This man is giving you lab grown meat now. Stuff we eating. Because matter of fact, let me get that one scripture. Um, We do know. I mean, we just didn't. I wouldn't have thought that he would take this shit this far. <laughs> I just, you know, we understand that we eating defiled bread, right? But I didn't think he'd take it this far. Um, Ezekiel 4 and 13. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their, de their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So we, are, we, know, we know this. We do understand, okay, yeah, we're in captivity. Esau giving us some bullshit. We don't know really what we're eating. You know what I'm saying? But this motherfucker, he didn't take it. I mean, come on. What, are you, what, you gonna, what's next? You're going to put the chip? 
in the damn food. You saying it's a grain of rice, right? The size of a grain of rice. This motherfucker, you go and buy a bag of rice and you boys fuck around and eat a nice um portion of it. And, 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 and next thing you know, it's a damn chip flowing through your bloodstream. This <laughs> hey, this dude got to go, man. You can't tell me this dude, he's got to go. Let's get that one in, um, I, I quoted. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Let me start at verse 3, though. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition is Esau, the so-called white man. He's being revealed. And actually, he's, he's actually telling on himself. If you can't clearly see that this man is the fucking devil, which just goes off into deceiver, Satan's physical counterpart working out on the planet, you know what I'm saying? That word Satan goes into adversary. If you can't see that this man is not the devil, then, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, I, I, like, come on, man. Verse 4 is the point I wanted to get as well. Who, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshiped so that he is God? Sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who gave you the white God, white Jesus, white angels, white apostles, white uh, 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 prophets, and, and, and Mary's white, and Joseph's white, and everybody down white in the, in the Bible? Who gave you those images, man? The scripture says that he will whitewash the images, took out scriptures, took the, took the apocrypha out, you know? That's why that Psalms 15 and 16 says, wait, well, hey, what do you have to do to, to declare my statutes, man? What you doing with the Bible? You don't keep nothing in it. And see, that's going to be uh, direct. Uh, see, Esau about to get direct ass whooping when, when the Lord comes, man. It's, it's, it's so much this man has to pay for. So much this man has to pay for, man. This man trying to blot out the sun. You know, motherfucker. Oh, man. So lucky for the language, y'all. Whoo, boy. Man, 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 man. Oh, matter of fact, let me, um. Yeah, Esau got it coming, man. It's only a matter of time, Esau, y'all. Just go ahead and keep continue. Get, get, get on down. Go ahead and do what you're, you're, you're supposed to do. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. And by wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that the, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. See, you, you Edomites got nothing but destruction coming. And, and he's going to do that to you as a, as a whole race of people. Because, you know, you got these so-called white people. Well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Government, government, government. But. Who's running the government? It's your people. Then you talk all this, you know, your, you know, this righteousness and, and, and we have a trafficking task force team. And well, motherfucker, you the biggest traffickers in the world. You trapped a, a whole nation of people into this place, man. This man is, I'm telling you, man, he's got to go. All his shit is upside down. Uh, matter of fact, I was just kicking it with, I just came from the store. And, um, you know, the um, gentleman behind the counter is pretty cool. And he's like, um, oh, him and an older um, gentleman was kicking it. And he was like, yeah, you heard the boom? And some guy, uh, guy got, um, you know, deleted on his motorcycle and shit right on the corner. You know, he mangled his ass up, too. And me and the guy, we started talking for a hot second. I was like, well, yeah, you know what? I said, well, you, it's pretty damn dumb that. The police will pull you over and give you a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. But guess what? The, but guess what they done? They appeal the law here where motherfuckers can ride a motorcycle with no helmet. So nobody got helmets on. They flying. Body not covered. But yet and still, I'm in a car. And I got to have on my seatbelt. Other than that, you're going to pull me over and give me a ticket. How fucking dumb is that? This motherfucker ain't got no seatbelt on on the bike. On a motorcycle. You done made it law where he don't have to wear no helmet. But you pulling me over and trying to get me a damn ticket about not having a seatbelt on. And I'm fully covered in the car. You know, better protection, I would say. Airbags and all. But that just shows you how fucking stupid this man is. That's the, that, that was the dumbest shit when I went. I'm like, huh? 
How that? What, what, what would be the pur- what, 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 why is, What's the purpose of you telling them they don't have to wear a helmet no more? What the fuck do you think they're gonna? No, and the death rate is has, has shot through the roof since they um they done that man on these motorcycles. Cause you barely protect it even with the damn helmet on. The ones that do survive, brain injury, brain dead. You know. Anyway though, I I didn't want to keep this long, man. I just seen this shit. And, and, and the brother, he, he and matter of fact, the video is a, a minute and 44 seconds, <laughs> which is on point. But let's let's see. Let's get the rest. It was a little bit more. And whether having vaccines in fruits and vegetables is legal in Tennessee. And if not, is the legislation necessary? So Picky says having something in place is better than not. The protection passed its latest House committee vote just last week. But of course, we'll let you know what happens. Mom. Something a, a lot of us have. Golly, man. Nothing is safe here, man. And you trying to tell me. Why why, why wouldn't Joe Biden or, or Trump or any of these motherfuckers running for president be? Why would you why would they not mention something like that? Why would they not be running that in their campaign, man? Because they're all in it together. You going to force this shit on the people like that? Because yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of it, and. A lot of that shit got to do with money, too, because those pharmaceutical companies, um, you know, um, they made a lot of money off that off that vax, man. They made a lot of money. A lot of motherfuckers got super duper rich. But you know what? They didn't make the money that they wanted to make. They was projecting that everybody was just going to line up and get that shit. And it was half of half these damn Americans. They was like, uh, uh-uh, fuck that. Not me. I'm not taking that shit. Then they started to, you know, push, and, 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 and hey, we can already see, it's a lot of stories, a lot of stories out here, people being deleted, a lot of people being, all of a sudden, <laughs> real healthy people, prime of their lives, falling over on the basketball courts, the tennis courts, you know what I'm saying, running track, prime, prime health, man, super duper number one healthy. Took that shit and now their asses is being deleted in droves. So I'm assuming that, okay, well, you know, because we can't put nothing past Esau. You know, that's why the scriptures talks about um not being ignorant of Satan's devices, man. You can't be ignorant of what this man is capable of. This motherfucker is capable of, of anything, especially when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because guess who he was trying to get that shit to first? Remember all the talk? Remember all the talk? That's how we know that we're the Israelites. Because guess what? They had us all in that same row in, in the newspapers, in the news stories. Yeah, the blacks, the Native Americans, and the, the uh, uh, Hispanics are more susceptible to this. And they kept trying to push that shit on Jake. Jake went falling for it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, a lot of Jake went out and took that shit, though. You know, my neighbors, um, you know, they, they definitely went. You know what I'm saying? The older um, neighbors of mine. Um, this one younger neighbor of mine that lived to the right of me, he didn't know, you know, he was like, uh-uh, fuck that. Well, see, like this newer generation, a lot of them was like, uh-uh, fuck that. No, but our older people, my dad, he didn't know, you know what I'm saying? He's an older gentleman, but he, he, he claimed he didn't. I got one of my uncles, you know what I'm saying? He was perfectly healthy. I don't know if he did or not, but hey, he, he, he fell very ill. He still ain't came back from that shit 100 and 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 hey man like i said again hey you can't trust esau edom the scriptures clearly tells you don't trust this man matter of fact let me just end out with that and i'm telling you hey you you know you got to be in control to pull some shit like that off you can't the earth is given into the hand of the wicked man you can't tell me this man is not the wicked because he has the complete power to pull some shit like this off He's in control of, of, of the foods, man. He's in control of the waters. They can actually put that shit in the motherfucking tap water or, or, or bottled water or whatever water. They can put that shit in some... Who's to say they're not going to put that shit in your Pepsi or your Coke or your Sprite? And then they can do it and they don't even have to tell, put no label on it to let you know that that shit is in there. Crazy, bro. Anyway, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10, also known as the Book of Sirach. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, see, 
Though he humble himself and go crouching, because that's what they do. Oh, yeah, we're here for the people. We're here to help you. Let us help you. We have the greatest scientists in the world, and we're going to help our people. To you, We're strong, America, and we're going to survive. We get to telling you about how much they love you and shit. He's humbling himself, and he's crouching. It says, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. See, and that's what's happening to Jake right now. Oh, man, I should have listened. Them brothers on the highways and byways, you know, them GMS, bro, they was telling us, don't do that shit. Now, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, that's what's happening to a lot of our people. Verse 13, it says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or or any such as come nigh wild beast? Like, who's going to pity a person that's playing with a goddamn lion? You're playing with a, you're petting a, cro a crocodile or some shit, damn alligator or something. You know, you, you're petting some stray pit bulls and shit running the streets or something. Who's going to pity him? You're going to be like, man, the fuck what you thinking, nigga? What did you, what did you think was going to happen? And it's Esau Edom. He's the damn serpent, man. He's, he, he, hey, this man, he's, he's, he's the wicked. So if you go playing with the wicked, you're going to get what the wicked pushes out, man. And they can't be no other way. The Lord created them like that, man. They're only doing their job. And so when you get when you're disobedient against the scriptures, the Lord uses this man as the sword to handle your ass. And that's going off into um, what's that? Psalms. Chapter uh, 17, I think it is. 17. And this is something that um, our king was praying for. It says uh, verse 13, Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Yahweh. Disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. What was Esau blessed with? What was his, his gift that I um that Isaac blessed him with? The sword, man. The gun. The modern day gun is his sword now. Pepper spray. Taser. Black Hawk helicopters. Grenades, man. Fucking uh, uh choppers, helicopters, fighter jets, submarines, torpedoes. Drones and shit. Nuclear weapons. That's the sword. He 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 can he 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 uses the food as a sword. A weapon. He uses your people, your woman against you as a weapon. Your children. This man can weaponize anything. He's the expert weapon maker, man. Who you think is making all this these fucking guns and stuff? Just go to the back of Walmart and go back to the, the to the spot where they sell the fishing rods and shit at, you know, and walk through there where, you know, they sell the the the, the bullets and shit. And you can just see them, them just simple things, really, really simple things that this man has created as weapons, man. Hell, come on, bro. You can't tell me this man is not the wicked, man. But it goes on to say. From men which are thy hand. O oh Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life. So this is the end of Esau's kingdom. This is their, their kingdom right now. Second Ezra 6 and 9 goes off into um, Esau's the, um, the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, this is his world and it's falling and it's, and it's about to be brought to an end. But Jacob's world, so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, is about to begin. And we're going to straighten all this bullshit out that this man has done to the planet. He's not going to be in charge no more. There's not going to be no so-called white people out here, CEO of this and CEO of that and, and president and governor and senator and mayor. No, nah, no, nah, they asses is going directly into slavery. They're going to be working very, very hard. OK, it goes on to say. Whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. See? And that's what they do. And that's kind of falling off now. But you know what I'm saying? You know, that's, that's, a, that's a thing with Esau where, you know, they get filthy rich. A lot of those elite, though, you know, that's what they do. They leave, 
you know, their inheritance to their children and the damn children, then the next group of children and children. And children. Hey, them damn Rothschilds and, um, you know, the, uh, uh, those elite of the world, man, they've been living off. Them motherfuckers ain't never worked a day in their life. They just been living off generational money for, 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 for you know, since the, the, the inception of the asses, man. Anyway, though. I wanted to just touch on this, man. Be aware of this man. And just know that, hey, this is just a clear cut as to us being in the last days, man. And, and a brother t entitled this right. Only in the mind of a damn Edomite, bro. You want to put fucking vaccines in the fruits and vegetables. I'm telling you, man. Hey, that's why we pray. For the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom. We don't want this shit to come back. We don't want it to go any further. Because you got these Christians. They be a God. We pray for America. God bless America. No man. The Lord is not blessing this wicked ass place man. This place got to go. Babylon the Great got to go. We looking forward. And we praying that we, we, we be, we, we're beamed up into them chariots man. When them fucking missiles hit this, this, this shithole place man. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come here, Solo.